and a very good afternoon here on the 8th of March 2019. My name is Rishi Patel, co-founder of Master the Markets, the Elite Traders Conference and the Traders Open Day. And a very warm welcome in to this market roundup. As you can see just here, we are um, banked out. According to the title, you can see we were banked out for £4,313.77 across our money bars trades this week, which helps us to recover from a drawdown that we have been in uh, since the start of the year on the money bars. We were suffering a 5% drawdown, but it has all been pulled back just here on the uh, money bars trade opportunities. Just there, you can see that. Um, we are now back into profit on the money bar strategy for the year. So £4,313 of banked upside taking us out of the drawdown, which one of my previous videos has also explained drawdown as well. Occasionally, now and again, get a little feedback from our community and the following that we've built uh, that aren't working with us yet in the way of live trade mentorship or live trade mentorship advanced. And they're saying that we're only talking about the profitable trades, but in the video that I made around a week ago, I was actually discussing a drawdown that we were going through and what our plan was for it. This week, I'm discussing the upside because we've seen upside this week. All of our recordings are done with transparency uh, and you can compare it back to the account statement which we publish live real time. Uh, all the time, it's updated constantly. So every week we do a video on Friday which walks you through the performance for that week. This week, of course, we are massively up 4.29% in closed profit. We have another approximately 3% uh, floating PL running on two trades as well. Let's walk you through everything that's happened this week. Euro US dollar, first of all, money bars trade uh, this week has hit its profit target. We entered on the close of the PSWB, this bar just here, uh, and we exited the market on um, this day just here. Uh, we just clipped our target on this day, which was the 5th of March. We are out of the market for a profit. Let me show you the actual trade in the trade journal as well. So here is the trade opportunity. Let's drag this across. So there is the trade 28th March, we're out on the 6th of March. In fact, what did I say? I said something different, did I? Uh, yeah, we're out here on the 6th of March on this bar, just here we are out of the market. We had to be a little patient uh, because we didn't hit the target on the day we wanted to. We had to be patient and wait. Uh, but we were out of the target, uh, sorry, we were out of the trade here on the 6th of March on this bar just here on this green line. So um, that's where we exited. You can see that that was a profit of £1,753. And then we also had the dollar Swiss trade, which also hit its profit target for a 2.35% upside. Um, a really great little trade just there. Again, if we look at the dollar Swiss, we entered the market on the PSWB close just here. Uh, and then we took that all the way up to the previous swing, which was just here. So we had to hold that for one, two, three, four, five days. It wasn't easy to be patient for five days for a money bars trade, but we held it nonetheless. And you can see that we have enjoyed the upside as a result of that. So we will continue to hold the market just here um, and continue to follow the plan. Uh, we're certainly in on some trades still on the... Um, cash in strategy we're still long dollar swiss i'll walk you through all of that in just a moment so that's money bars what are we doing in by way of liftoff you can see liftoff we are currently running uh, a position here on the euro us dollar we are currently short the market we haven't exited just yet one one three five zero we're short on euro dollar so one one three five zero we are short which is here 11350 is there. We're short from this green line on the low of the primary just there. And our profit target is all the way down here at 1, 1, uh, 1, sorry, 1.1131. Actually, our profit target just there. There you go. So I'm thinking about the target uh, while I'm doing my recording, which is a little bit challenging. There we go. That's our profit target there. 1.1131. Just there is our profit target. You can see today is moving a little against us. Uh, and that's okay, we've had some non-farm payroll news come out just now as well. Uh, that's also pushed the market a little against us as well. But we're holding, we're following the plan, and I'll be talking about that in a short while. So we are short lift off, we're still holding. Uh, where are we in terms of gold bars? This uh, week we've had a gold bars trade, which 
is a new trading strategy here in the live trading room a brand new trading strategy in the live trading room which we've taken out of beta and into real-time testing uh, so we're now rolling it out it's counting towards the live trading room curve uh, for the gold bars trade let's take a quick look at it just here we entered the market short at 11297 with a take profit of 11287 so we're looking for 10 pips of upside just there 11297 we were short which is here there's 11297 and 11287 we were out of the market just there okay so that was the trade it was only a small trade 10 pips we took off of that but it banked us a 0.31% profit so that's also contributed towards the curve this um, week as well and that's given us a net upside on the live trading room for 4.29% now as I mentioned we are holding cash in uh, long on the dollar Swiss we're still holding that 10047 we entered the market on that which is just there this is where we entered cash in long we are still holding the market it's moving against us again today but we are holding through this so uh, we will be holding and following the trailing stop rules on the cash in strategy some of them probably only 10 percent of the cash in trades are really going to run towards their large targets which we've set the target on this um, dollar swiss i believe is actually all the way up here at 10250 which is here so we are looking for quite a large move if that's 40 pips the atr 10 uh, we're actually looking for 320 pips uh, let's take a quick look where that calculates so 320 by 40 we're looking for an 8 atr move which is quite rare but those are the rules for the cash in strategy we won't get that on all of the trades but we will get that on some of them we're just looking for the ones that run will minimize the loss on the others let's move on to um, the elite trading room so this week the elite trading room has been a little quiet we've had a couple of opportunities um, which didn't trigger for us we cancelled them out because the trade reasons invalidated themselves so euro dollar and dollar swiss did invalidate themselves as trade opportunities this week we also had a swing profits opportunity as well on this dollar japanese yen which we were only ent to enter if certain criteria were met that was also cancelled out as those criteria weren't met as well but we are holding on the elite trading room we are holding the smart money uh, opportunity short just here on the euro us dollar so we are holding smart money short on euro us dollar we have trailed the stop loss into today in advance of non-farm payroll we're looking for 3.12 percent of upside um, and that is the idea just there so we'll continue to hold smart money elite we're continuing to hold lift off 3.0 two positions short on the euro dollar giving us a net overall um, floating profit of approximately three percent at this time that's what's floating at the moment um, and of course we're looking for a 6.13 percent profit if if they hit target just there okay so let's move on to um, the uh, other markets so the euro us dollar is in a clean clear downward trend you can see that here um, multiple opportunities for master the markets on this particular phase this top to bottom phase which we are trading we're still holding this short even though it is climbing a little against us just there the pound against us dollar clean clear upward trend as well uh, potential opportunity was here on smart money to take this long but never triggered so we cancelled that opportunity dollar swiss again we're still holding long as well euro japanese yen um is again uh, we wanted to take it as a lift off i mean i personally wanted to take this as a lift off it was a perfect setup for it uh, but we couldn't because the moving averages were in between 50 and 100 still in a down uh, still in an upward trend but the key is um if it breaks this previous swing which is looking more and more likely now will become a downward trend once again the Aussie dollar, we haven't been able to do much with this due to this large spike just here. We needed to clear that, and now it has. Uh, we can look at potential opportunities. Dollar Japanese yen, uh, yeah, large mover just here. We were looking at this as a PSWB. Um, this is actually a specialized PSWB, which we're doing some research on at the moment. This one just here. This is what we call an immediate failure PSWB. And uh, we did want to take this opportunity short, but again, uh, we were not able to because um, the dollar Japanese yen is not one of the three pairs 
that we do trade with money bars so we didn't have any other way of taking that opportunity just there not much we can do on that recovery here on gold which is looking uh, tidy uh, you can see that that did become a downtrend on the break of this swing low um, there may be some more downside here before it continues as upside momentum do be on the lookout for that oil has been stagnating for the last two weeks quite interesting just here so lots of accumulation taking place just here which could then mean potentially uh, a larger move to follow so be on the lookout for that just there the FTSE 100 on the weekly you can see is still in a clear downward trend uh, that is very clear um, and we can we can see that it's this it's very very apparent the daily on this um, on the on the on the on the US 500 um, this is of course the S&P 500 you can see just there that uh, you are having some downside probably following on uh, from the Dow Jones as well so it's an interesting one again we had multiple primary failures in the lead up to this phase we need to just keep monitoring this just there Bitcoin uh, has been ranging as well accumulating quite a bit too which basically means again it's in the lead up to a larger move now where that larger move will be is the question I believe there's more downside to Bitcoin before there is longer term upside so let's be on the lookout for that uh, 3800 is where we are now a lot of people were calling this long at 5000 um, which I disagreed with because of gaps further down in the chart so let's see I still believe that there's a gap here that needs to be closed which will probably happen today there's a $500 gap just there but the other thing to do uh, to, it's not a $500 gap sorry it's about a $60 gap but the other thing to bear in mind just here is that uh, there is still more gaps to the downside so we could very well see a break of this previous support which is my hunch on this uh, Bitcoin market just there let's then go on to the topic of the week which is about following the plan this is probably something you may have heard a lot of if you're already trading the market a lot of people might have talked to you about sticking to the plan and all these catchphrases in the in the uh, in the training industry like trade the trend until the bend in your end and all of that other nonsense that exists so I mean quite frankly for us here at master the markets there are a couple of key rules that we have to following the plan the first one is that discretionary plans don't have any measure so if you trade the market in a discretionary way ie you're guessing where swing highs and swing lows are you're guessing when there's MACD divergence you're guessing where there's a trend line you're guessing where support and resistance is and all the rest of that other guesswork type trading um, unfortunately the problem with that is that there is no real plan and that's because there's no structured way to measure if you have been successful or not against something that is of course quantified so quantified plans have exact criteria in there ie we know without any shadow of a doubt where we should be going long and where we should be going short now whether we can follow that is another matter but the idea of a quantified plan is that it does have an exact point at which you enter and which you exit and quantified plans can then be measured so they're measured by using a cash curve which is our own performance against system curves which is the performance of the trading strategy and I'm going to show you some examples of this on the live trading room journal it's really interesting um, for this year so far and of course the advantages of following a plan many fold no matter the outcome of the trade you sleep well so I've put this one because um, regardless of whatever happens right now we're running this trade on the euro US dollar now our stop loss is all the way up here at this time it is at 29 just there now where the current price is and where our stop loss is is quite far off could mean either one of two things we've given it a good amount of space to breathe one or secondly the price is going to creep all the way back up hit our trailing stop and we're going to be out of the market for a small profit but giving away all of the uh, floating PL that we have running here at the moment which is quite significant given the large sell-off on euro just yesterday so what do I mean by you sleep well I mean if this creeps up I mean we still know at the end of the day that we have followed the plan and that's very important to understand and the other thing is through our experience the system always gets a higher net profit so where you follow the system exactly regardless of what you do on a discretionary basis against cash it's very difficult to beat the system 
the system always seems to get a higher net profit and it's probably the design of the master of the market strategies that make it that way that give it that much strength but of course when we execute in real time it's psychologically challenging why because your mind starts to play games on you like that euro dollar right now some of the traders in our community may be saying oh but it went far so so far down why didn't i just exit on the close why have i still held it why is it going against me now uh, what am i going to do now shall i trail my stop loss tighter all of these things start to come in to the mind but the key thing is that if you follow your plan exactly then what we found is that it always generally tends to make a higher net profit uh, you can track your progress as a trader as well if you follow your plan exactly then you can create a cash in a system curve and let me show you the one for the live trading room and here you can see the cumulative stats for the live trading room for the year so far so we are of course around two and a half no i wouldn't say two and a half maybe two months and two weeks just under two weeks so we where are we really yeah we're a week into march so we're two uh two months and a week into march uh and this is where our cumulative stats sit at the moment so you can see that the cash curve um, our personal execution on these trading strategies that is down uh, 0.83 percent and the system is a little bit better it's at minus 0.27 percent that is to say this is what would have happened if we had followed the plan every single uh, step of the way if we had followed the plan every single step of the way and we'd done it all perfectly we would be down 0.27 percent for the year so far if on the other hand what we have done our personal execution is this um, we're down minus 0.83 now they very this, these can vary for many different reasons I've created other videos on this so I don't want to go into that but go back over our YouTube channel and look for the videos on the cash and the system curve but you can see that our variance at the moment is 0.56 which is pretty tidy it's not too bad at all uh, by way of trading so we can see that on a curve as well if we look just here you can see the first month we kicked off as a small loss in January just here then in February that loss extended we had a larger drawdown especially on the money bars trading strategy which is what pushed this all the way down but here just having closed out those two trades and taking that 4,313 pounds of upside you can see that that curve has shifted all the way back up and the system is almost back now to break even but one thing that you can see about the master of the markets live trading room performance and the traders here is that our cash and system curve are very tightly inter inter interlocked together and that tells us that tells you and that tells us that our execution is almost excellent because it's matching what the system is doing so this is where you want to keep it now if you can't follow a plan um, and this is the advantage of following the plan the advantage the massive one of course is your cash and system curve stay tight together whether you end up in a profit or a loss I don't think that that's important at this stage in this process um, of course later on at the end of the day you want to take a large amount of money out of the market and you need to have your cash and system in the positive territory which I sincerely believe the live trading room now head into into, into the next few months but um, the important thing in the lead up to all of that because you don't see the profit straight away all the time the important thing in the lead up is to of course keep these curves as tight together as possible that's what's important and that's what needs to be focused on and that's what the following the plan is all about the advantage being that you'll sleep better because you know that your execution is in line with where it should be on the system so that's it from me for the week uh, look forward to speaking to you all very soon. Until the next time, stay disciplined, follow your trading plan, and keep trading like a master.